Hey everyone, it's Dev here and welcome to Jupiter and Mars Overview. I was doing a research on it and looking through the trailers. Apparently it released previously on the PlayStation VR, which I kinda understood why, because it seems like a visual experience. The problem is that no matter what Powerhouse Quest 2 is, it will never be able to complete with machinery that can produce high resolution stuff. And you will see it really shows on the footage that, of course it's an adventure game that needs to be experienced in VR, and it's cool we'll get a port of it, it's just not gonna be justifying the project in its full potential. So Jupiter and Mars is supposed to be an underwater adventure game where we'll be controlling two dolphins swimming in the ocean, travel across many different environments actually resembling real life things, with a rescue mission to save the sea life from the machinery. I pretty much said what I said before the trailer came around. Despite the graphics that will essentially hurt the gameplay, this is something kinda fresh on the official store. I remember one experience kinda similar to that but it was more focused on diving and kinda taking it slow. This one will be kinda Tetris-like graphics and soundtrack based title. Apparently the dolphins also have some kind of abilities that we'll be using against the enemies underwater alongside some power-ups and different kind of mechanics. I have like no expectation whatsoever about it. I wish I would play it on PC VR because then in my eyes that would be a true experience of it. But it is what it is, we'll see how compelling the storyline will be. I'm all for things that are unique on its own own and clearly stand out from hundreds of games we've played so far. Let's go underwater! Earth, our bright beautiful jewel, spinning in the blackness of space, full of wonder and teeming with life. It wasn't always this way. There was a time when the color had faded, when the machines of the Earthwalkers blew poisons into the sky and covered the land with their neglect, when everything was thrown into the seas and the underwater world was filled with the remnants of a dying civilization. Oh. Eventually, an endless millennia of taking from this life-sustaining planet became too much to bear. When the Earth had nothing left to give, the Earth Walkers eventually disappeared. Where they went or what happened to them is still unclear, but the Earth forgives. After a time, it began to heal, embracing the seas in its arms, cooling the sky with wind and rain, and breathing life back into every corner. It would recover, but it would also need help. The funny thing about help is that you often find it in the most unlikely of places. This is the story of two dolphins joined by fate. A story of a boy and a girl on the adventure of a lifetime. This is the story of- I think I need to fix the sound. I can't though, because the menu does not work at all. <laughs> okay. Mars. I feel like the frames are skipping. Okay. <laughs> Don't eat me. What? Sample? What? Oh, I move him, okay. Oh, it's like a third person camera. We're just floating and steering him, but... Okay. It's very, like, unusual. Reminds me of, like, Senna's... Hellblade? Senua's Sacrifice? I don't know how it was called. It's like we're string him, but also with our camera. But it's not like synchronized. I oh. I know that I'm a second dolphin. Oh maybe that's the case. Like, I'm not steering him, he just follows me. Oh, okay. <laughs> With the right controller, aim and pull the trigger. Okay. Oh. 
I just push them, okay. <laughs> oh shit, Get out. <laughs> Crab. Rescue. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know about it. But like I told you, I knew it's gonna be graphics based, but the graphics on Quest 2 won't justify it. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I touch you? Oh. <laughs> Mother turtle. Babies caught in plastic. This seems like a very chill experience that... Should be for like people that just start with VR. Not even that, with video games. <laughs> Can I help you? Okay. At least we know where to go. This is the dolphin map, echolocation. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. I mean, this is gonna be purely exploration. I really wish I would play it on PC VR because I'm sure it looks stunning and that's the point of the game. For something that came from PC VR it feels unnaturally basic. Like there's just not much going on. I saw creatures like that in Egypt. Those were not starfishes though, those were like... Black balls that would have spikes all over. So it's not even realistic. <laughs> Can I jump? Oh, I'm trapped in the water. Oh, we're back here. What did I do?
That's completely blocked. Um, pff, okay. I feel like I'm lost, but I would gladly end here. Cause there's just nothing going on. I mean, it's, you know, something to play on Sunday morning. If you're stressed after family meeting or work, just play this and you'll chill instantly. It's very basic, only two buttons to do stuff. Can you attack me? See, it's not even aggressive. Hammer shark. You think what? <laughs> like we should get every port from every VR game that exists on Quest, sure. But that does not mean it's gonna justify the experience all the time. And this is a prime example of it, like the point here is just to immerse yourself that you're underwater exploring something you would never do, cause you're not a dolphin in real life, it's just inaccessible for us. It's just something very chill, not for me at all. Could it be better? Maybe, because there are no physics going on, it's just the world is very spacious, so maybe that's what takes a lot of performance. I don't have much to say about it, it's just simple.